I'm Lola Red, and thanks for clicking on this video. So as you can see here, I have a lovely spread of all of my childhood favorite snacks. All of these items I have not eaten in a very long time. And when I'm talking very, I'm talking like more than 10 years ago, probably longer than that. Some of them were like middle school and elementary school snacks. So I was thinking it would be fun to give them all a try and kind of show y'all if they're good or not. Maybe they're snacks that should be revived into adulthood. I don't know. We're gonna find that out together. Before we get right into this video, please go ahead and give this video a nice little thumbs up if you're into fun, interesting snacks, or hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos of my thoughts and opinions and adventures and random other things that I do and share with the internet, you all. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I wanna save the best for last because I know Fruit by the Foot is going to literally be the world's greatest snack in the entire world. So we're gonna save this for last. Let's try these Moon Town Cheese Cracker Dip sticks. I used to love these. Actually, I used to love the Dunkaroos, but they don't make those anymore, which is a little sad. They were like animal crackers that you dipped in icing and they were fabulous. And if you know, you know, and the world is missing out. So let's go ahead and give New Town Crackers some taste testing. It smells like artificial cheese. Like this this is the smell of like my childhood cheese. I'm not mad at it. I wouldn't say that I'm gonna go run out and get like a whole case of these, but I'm not mad. They're, they're, they're okay. In case you're wondering, one of these little things is 100 calories. Doesn't have any vitamin D, so if you're vitamin D deficient, I do not recommend eating these. Before I moved on, I needed to get some water to, you know, cleanse the palate. Next up, I think we should try Gogurt. I haven't had Gogurt in who knows how long, to be honest. So this is gonna be like a trip down memory lane. These seem much smaller than I remember them being. They're literally like the size of my hand. An interesting fact about me is I no longer like yogurt. So <laughs> I don't know if Gogurt did that to me or what, but yogurt's just like not my thing. So the flavor I got is strawberry. These strawberry flavored things are just fabulous. It, it, it smells like yogurt. I never understood why you would really need to take yogurt on the go. Like I was never like, you know what I need? Like a popsicle stick of yogurt. This, this would solve all of my problems. Anyways, let's go ahead and try this out. It's not as flavorful as I once thought it was. However, if you do like yogurt, then you may like this. Interesting fact is one of these babies is 150 calories. So would you prefer to have artificial cheese or some to-go yogurt? Now let's move on to Nutty Buddies, or I like to call them Nutter Butters. I don't know why I call them Nutter Butters, but they're so good. And you might say, Jessica, this box is open. I didn't do that. So Dane clearly loves Nutter Butters. Gushers in the Nutter Butter box? Back to the Nutter Butters. I remember these being like, sort of like a Kit Kat kind of treat. But we'll see. It smells so good. It reminds me of my childhood. It like takes me back to being in high school at lunch, pouring out one of these and eating it during lunch. Oh, so tasty. Okay, let's give it a whirl. It's not bad, however, if I had to choose between a Kit Kat and that, I'd choose a Kit Kat or a Reese's cup or it's basically any other chocolate item that I favor now, I would choose that over this. But it's still good. I'll eat them or Dane will eat them. So now let's go in with some cheese whips. I remember seeing people like literally squirt this straight into their mouth and I thought it was the most disgusting thing ever. But to be fair, I used to love eating this on crackers and we're doing it as like a very small kid and loving it. So maybe I will like it. It is made with real cheese in case you don't know. I've got some saltines and we're gonna give this a shot. I think I put way too much on here. I don't think I'm gonna like this. Let's let's 
we're just gonna try it. We're gonna dive right in, right? Let's go. Cheers to you, my friend. Mm -mm. No. 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 Mm -mm. No. That was disgusting. If you like cheeses, kudos to you. I'm not that person. I will never be that person again. That was disgusting. So let's move on to some White Castle cheeseburgers. This is something that I could like eat right after school. It was super simple. I just put it in the microwave, call it a day. I also used to eat just like bacon for a snack after school. <laughs> but after that, I moved on to White Castle cheeseburgers. I remember them being really, really good. So we're gonna give it a shot and then we will finish off with some fruit by the foot. So let me microwave this. I remember being a kid and thinking these looked way more appetizing. <laughs> now they look sad. This is the thinnest slice of meat I've ever seen. <laughs> Can you see that? Now I realize why I stopped eating these, because they're not good. Not good at all. Moving on to our final star of the show, Fruit Bay, but I remember these being so good. It has the same smell. Oh my God. I could just sit here and smell this all day long. I know it's gonna taste glorious. I should eat it the way I used to eat it, right? You just go. Oh my God, it's delicious. Why did I ever stop eating these? 10 out of 10. Recommend for bed, but well, this has been fine. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as well as go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you are not already, I try to put out videos at least once a week. So you'll see more random things that I have thoughts on or random things I just want to try and bring back into my life or start doing. So if you want to jump on board for the adventures, go ahead and do so now and I will see you all next time. Bye.